Hello everybody, my name is Yasmin Guadalupe and today I will be showing you my digital color process for my Athena fan art. I want to use Fridays for fan art and since she is a goddess I did not create on my own, I figured it would count as a fan art. Don't get me wrong, this is an original art piece, however I did not invent the war goddess that is Athena. I personally love Greek mythology oh so very much. I have drawn quite a handful of art pieces inspired by the Greek gods, so I'll have to find them and post them. Eh, maybe. But I know for a fact I'll be back with another god or goddess of this mythology again. Enough with fun facts, and let's talk about my process with this art piece. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I don't have very much experience with digital art. The experience I did have were pieces I colored in with a mouse. So it's a whole different world I'm exploring now with a graphics tablet. I do quite enjoy it, but it is sure a struggle. I was trying to experiment with the blending brush tool in Photoshop, but I really didn't like it. I couldn't get the hang of it even after watching tutorials and they all said, yeah, it's so easy, yet I couldn't understand. So I went back to basics and just kept layering. I remembered that Ross Dross mentioned in one of his videos that he uploaded some of the brushes he uses on his Gumroad, so I quickly found the links and downloaded them. And let me just say, they are so awesome. I believe one is for texture, another is highlights, and then one that I didn't use was for special effects, I believe. Apart from that, I used the regular round brush from Photoshop for filling in. Oh, I should mention, this video with normal speed up was going to be almost an hour. And after adding the second level of speed up, it was half an hour long. So I had to cut bits and pieces off to get it down to 10 minutes without losing too much process. And also, the file for the skin process is just gone. So the only thing I can think of is that I really didn't even hit record when I started painting the skin. Which sucks! Because as an artist, I'd really like if you guys could see all of my process. And then, as time goes by, you guys can see me progress even more and more. I like to use the luminosity layer option to add shadows and highlights, but I didn't use it too much with this art piece. I also strayed away a little from the original way I had shaded in the hair, but I liked it like this better now with the color. Speaking of the luminosity layer, I really like it because you really just have to choose a darker color and a lighter color of the same color range that you're using. So for example, if you're using yellows, you just choose a darker yellow or a lighter yellow for the shadows and highlights. However, you're really just staying with that color range and sometimes you want to add different colors like purple um, or you know magenta for pinks and unfortunately with the luminosity layer, it's kind of hard to do that.
When I worked on her makeup, I tried to go for a natural look since in my imagination, I feel like Athena would stay away from flashy colors or stay away from catching anyone's attention in a glamour way. I feel like that's more an Aphrodite thing. The armor took me quite a while to fully color. I started by painting a base of just one color, which is the muddy yellow. Then I added shadows and highlights without focusing on the details. Then I went into the breast area and added shadows to the outsides of the outlines and highlights on the inside of the lines to create that relief effect. Speaking of gods and goddesses, I don't really draw boys, guys, or men, uh, anything in the male spectrum, <laughs> but I would really like to explore it with Apollo since he's actually my favorite god. Because I use the top layer to multiply, the color white does not show up for whatever reason. So if anyone has any tips on how I can keep my original sketch layer see-through for me to add colors to it, please let me know because this is the only way I know how to add color and still keep the original line art. So what I'm trying to say is I pretty much put one layer of the original piece and then add a copy layer on top of that and make that copy layer multiply and then I'll add one white layer underneath and then start coloring there and that's the only way I know how to so far so if anybody has any uh, better way to do it please let me know the fabric should have been very white but sadly it just turned out gray the background is quite simple but I actually really liked it Alright, and now here you're seeing the final official colored piece for my Athena artwork. That's all for now everybody. I hope that you liked it. Until my next upload, please feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments. Share this with an art buddy. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos.